from um, Playgirl in Preschool. I'm sorry. I was live just a second ago, but the camera's doing like a weird lighting thing. It looked like a ghost. And my pink thing looks it's pink. Isn't that weird the way the camera's doing it? Okay, it looks white on the camera, but it's really pink. Anyway, hi, I'm here today. Happy Monday to share with you a one of our favorite ocean books and a really awesome activity to go with it. We love to read books with our kids and use visuals to stimulate their comprehension at the same time. We find that it's really easy for kids just to sit and listen to a story, right? Just sit and smile and nod and listen along. But if we involve them with visuals, with a book talk at the beginning, with um, sequencing or something else while they're reading, then their comprehension goes through the roof, it really improves. So I'm gonna share with you one of our very favorite ocean books and this awesome flannel board story that I got to go with it from Artfelt. We did an Artfelt project with you guys on the video on Friday and uh, people were asking where did I get the board. Well, guess what, it's from Artfelt too. Sorry, the camera is so weird. I don't know why the lights are so weird. Anyway, um, the board is from Artfelt too. It is a trifold board. It's black on one side and blue on the other side. It folds up really nice, and it's uh, 24 by 24. It's the perfect size. I think it's the black on the board. Look, when I bring that over, it's crazy. Fine. Not fine. Fine. Oh, that's a, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? That's better. Um, it is the perfect size to do flannel board poems, flannel board stories, um, a lot of our uh, songs and rhymes, we can stick those up here. So this is uh, one of our very favorite teaching tools from Artville. Okay, so I'm gonna read to you the story of the Rainbow Fish. Are you guys familiar with this story by Marcus Fister? It is a classic. It, is, it has been translated, I think, into like a hundred different languages. And it not only is a book about fish, which is why we picked it for our ocean unit, but it tells a really important story about generosity and kindness and what happens when we give, um, give, you know, how it makes us feel in our hearts. Our students love to talk about this story about what happens to the rainbow fish at the beginning when he's selfish and he doesn't want to share his shimmery um, fins and then what happens when he starts sharing them with the other fish in the ocean. So I'm gonna read to you the story of the rainbow fish and um, show you how we introduce it simultaneously with the felt board story from Artfelt. I left a link, before I start, I left a link in the video description for where I got the rainbow fish from Artfelt and the board. And also, Judy um, Woodworth, who is the owner and founder of Artfelt Puppets, she has free printable teaching guides for all of her sets. So even if you don't have the felt set though, you wanna to go to her website and download the free teaching resource for the Rainbow Fish. It has some really good suggestions for how to involve the kids. Okay, The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fister. Are you guys familiar with this story? See him with his shiny little thin? A long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue, green, and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish, I have some other fish, were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish, he would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. You have so many, and they are all so wonderful. 
you want me to give you one of my special scales, who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Oh, here he comes and they're all gonna go the other direction. Swim away, they don't wanna be around him because he was so mean to that little blue fish, right? What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now, he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured his troubles to the little starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to the deep cave, there goes my face, is gonna turn white as a ghost. <laughs> oh goodness. To the deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give one, give a glittering scale to each one of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Uh, I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little boot blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small, shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little blue fish. fish bubbled playfully as he tucked it, his shiny scale among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. And so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by all the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. So we're gonna take some more of these scales out and put them in the other fish. 
take this one out and share it here. I'm gonna take these out and share them with the other fish in the sea. The more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, at last he felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, called the rainbow fish. Happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. This book, of course, lends itself to so many discussions about the importance of giving, about being a good friend, about sharing, about making other people happy and the joy that you receive when you give things away. We have some cool art projects planned um, for our students after reading this book, but I don't have to share with you because we didn't finish them today. We're trying to get our Valentine's projects done. And I just think that whether you have an ocean unit or you're doing friendship and love in February, this is a fantastic book to introduce to your students. It's chock full of vocabulary. It has it has so many um, so many different directions you can take it. And with the felt board activities, the kids can can reenact it or they can retell the story on their own during centers after you've read it to them during circle time. So it is just absolutely one of my favorites. I know you guys like it too. I've got a whole bunch of people who are saying that this is one of your favorite stories too. It's the perfect story. It's the perfect picture book. Um, beautiful illustrations, concise, gorgeous language, um, and a rock star felt board to boot. So that's my idea to share with you this afternoon. I hope your week is off to a great start, and I hope you'll join us again soon. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon playing and learning with your kids. See you next time. Bye, everybody.